Hi everybody, this is Boaz Fahler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for October 21st, 2015. The Moon is in Aquarius today and it's sextiling Saturn and sextiling the nodes. This day talks a lot about our place in the social arena, in the social spectrum. Uh, what's our crowd? What tribe do we belong to? What company do we keep? Which tribe do we come from? These are all questions that can come up today. And today is about, you know, not only today, but these few days are about special meetings with people that are our crowd, that are our tribe, and that could really influence our future. So there's a bit of destiny that comes in today to, the, to our meetings. And since these days we are quinconxing, the moon is quinconxing, um, Venus today. That means that our energy and that our time is limited. We cannot cater to everybody, we cannot take care of everybody and we should really make sure we decide who we, show, we socialize with today since our time and availability and energy is limited. Who you turn your attention to, who you bring your energy to. These are questions you could sh you should keep in mind today. Other than that, the square between Mercury and Pluto is coming back for the third time recently, but it's the last time for a long time. And that angle was there first when Mercury came into that square with Pluto, secondly when it was retrograding back into that angle, and now when it's out of its retro retrograde, it's coming back again for the third time. And that really talks about our emotional communication system and that it's a lot more volatile these days and that we should really make sure that we pay attention to everything that comes out of our mouth. How we say things, what we say, and where from the inside of ourselves does it come from. It's a chance for us to understand how our emotional reaction system works better and what's hidden inside because right now we could be volcanic and we should really measure our words and if we don't with the opposition between Mars and Chiron these days we could turn into our own worst enemies and that opposition really talks about two uh, outcomes two possible outcomes that can come out first that your actions would provide great healing both for you and for people in your surroundings, for places that have been hindered and hurt and painful for a very long time, and that's great. The other outcome could be that your actions, if not sensitive enough, could really hurt both you and others around you and cause painful, hurtful, places that would ache for a long time in your life. So we really have to be careful these days. That's it for today. Thank you for being with me, and I'll see you all tomorrow. This is Boaz Fahler. Goodbye.